What's up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. So today I have sort of a different style video. This is sort of a personal message to Nikki Blackheader. Nikki, if you're watching this, today is Sunday, December 4th. We finished your Find Your Happy Challenge this morning or technically last night. Today we're sending in our final check-ins. So this morning when I went to take my progress pictures and I got on the scale, I noticed such a difference. I am five pounds down from when we started. I was 135 in the beginning and I was 130 exactly this morning. When I was taking my progress pictures, I'll try and insert a picture of that here, but I didn't even know that my body was progressing as much as it was until I saw those photos. I noticed that my tummy was tightening up, that my legs feel stronger and leaner, I'm seeing more definition in my arms. So just the physical benefits right off the bat are out of this world. The workouts that you created totally kicked my ass every single time. It was like every single workout I was so sore after, but I also felt like I was getting stronger and getting better with each time. So right off the bat, the physical things that happened throughout these four weeks are obviously amazing. I tried super hard on being consistent. I hit every single workout, every single cardio session, but I was also really, really good on my diet. I was counting my macros very consistently. I was eating very fibrous, good whole foods, and also focusing on the foods that you would give us each week, like the boost your serotonin foods, boost your immune system foods. I am so happy and pleased with how my body looks, like aesthetically, and also what I weigh and how toned um, I feel and how I feel my muscles have developed. But more importantly, I wanted to talk about the mental aspect of this challenge. So every single week we sent you, um, you know, that we were journaling and meditating and spending time outside in the sun and I did my absolute best that I could to stick with that schedule. It was super challenging here at school, especially the fact that it's December, it's finals time for me. So um, every single second that I have here, I try and designate to schoolwork. So sitting down and taking time to journal and meditate seemed like an annoyance at the beginning and now I can't picture my day without it. I've also never actually been able to drink a full gallon of water a day. I don't know why I'm such a little bitch about drinking so much water. And I hit a gallon almost every single day throughout this challenge and I've noticed such a difference in the clarity of my skin, my energy, my digestion. Um, every single thing has been affected by it and I'm so proud of myself for chugging all the water and peeing all the time. I think it is extremely safe to say after these four weeks that these four weeks were life-changing. I've actually never participated in challenges that like fit people put on and all these challenges YouTubers do. I've never actually bought one and participated in one, so this is my first time. But I think the reason why I never did them was because none of the other challenges focused on the mental aspect and your mental health. Um, everything was all physical, which is great. Some people need that as a motivator as well, but focusing and taking time on your mental health and things like journaling and getting out in the sun um, that was so different to me and that's what drew me into this challenge. So if you've been watching this channel for a while, you've seen my five steps to loving your body, uh, my binge eating disorder video, so you guys know that I've had a little bit of a history with the body image section, like most girls have. But this challenge has given me a new love for myself and my body and not even like, oh wow, I look really good, but it's like, I love my body because it's mine and I take such pride in the fact that I wake up every single day and I do what's right for myself. I do what's right for my body and what's good for me. This challenge totally allowed me to start putting myself first again. A lot of the time I will fall back in the rut of putting other people's needs and wants and desires and goals and things like that in front of mine. To some degree that is okay every now and then because that's what being a friend is and that's what being in a relationship is like. When it comes to the point where you're putting yourself on the back burner and you're not focusing and giving yourself the time you need and deserve, that's when this challenge came in and helped me. I have honestly never had the confidence that I have in this exact moment. And again, that's not because I lost five pounds and I think my stomach looks good or my legs look good or whatever. It's again because I found a love for myself. Nikki has been on YouTube for a couple years and I've been watching her for a couple years. I've seen every single up and down that she has put on social media. One of my absolute favorite things about Nikki and the thing that inspires me the most about her is her ability to always put a smile on her face. And by watching her videos and always seeing it, her put a smile on her own face, it makes me put a smile on. I have learned so incredibly much from Nikki over the years. She is the reason why I started lifting weights. She's the reason why I started eating right and enough. She's the reason why I stopped restricting myself because she showed me that 
lifting heavy weights and doing cardio and eating healthy, that's how you maintain a healthy lifestyle. She is the reason why I got into the gym the way that I did. She is the reason that I fell in love with lifting the way that I did. She is the reason that every single day I choose to find the happy in each day. She always, always, always has a smile on her face and is always looking for the good in everybody and everything and that is just so genuinely inspiring. Her check-ins were also super heartfelt. Um, they weren't like one or two sentences like, hey, looking good, keep it up. Her responses to her check-ins were like a paragraph or so and it was like actually talking about what we said in the message. It was so refreshing to hear that she actually cared about our progress. She actually wanted us to do well and she appreciated it, how much work we were putting in. So all in all, after these four weeks, I have experienced the most amazing time between the physical benefits, between the mental benefits, and the community that I became a part of through this challenge. Um, Nikki has brought together the most amazing, inspiring, driven, unbelievable girls that you could ever put into one group. Every single girl from this challenge brought something so beautiful and so unique. Um, to the challenge and it was amazing being a part of this. So Nikki, if you are watching this by chance, I just wanted to say thank you again from the bottom of my heart. I have never gotten so much from four weeks of working out and eating healthy and focusing on myself. I am such a lighter, happier, more positive, optimistic person and I've learned that through you. You have taught me that it's okay to put yourself first, that it's okay to do what you want and what you need to do because at the end of the day, treating yourself right and doing what's best for you is the most important thing. I've learned to love myself. I've learned to not give a shit what other people think. Work on being the best version of myself every, every single day. I think I'm pretty positive in saying that I have found my happy after this challenge. I am so much happier, I'm so much lighter, I'm so much better from this challenge in every single way. I just wanted to personally say thank you, Nikki. This was the most incredible four weeks of my life that I ever could have asked for, and I can't wait to see what this turns into. If you're starting a movement like this now, it's gonna grow and grow and grow over the years. And I just cannot wait to watch you spread this message to girls everywhere to love themselves and to become better versions of themselves and not wish that they were other people, but focus on themselves and becoming better versions of themselves. Nikki, thank you so, so much for this challenge. I hope that you continue to do it with other girls because it was truly life-changing. Every single girl felt the exact same way and was so in love with it. I am truly so grateful and I'm going to be for the rest of my life because this has done wonders for your girl. So Nikki, I just wanted to wish you a very, very Merry Christmas and say thank you again and I love you.